The establishment of a counter-radicalism youth policy by the government of TNT was the topic of debate by youth parliamentarians on Monday. Sherilyn Lewis reports on the debate of the policy serving as a deterrent for young people to enter into terrorist and radical activities from their perspective. Youth opposition leader Danisha Monro of Point 14 East Secondary School said the world, including Trinidad and Tobago, is under threat by youth radicalism. Ms. Monroe highlighted the 1990 coup, which she stated was the sort of youth radicalism in the country. She said there needs to be a policy or program to steer troubled youths away from radicalism. Allow me to reiterate the last point, Madam Speaker. Misinformation about Islam. Our youths are facing the problems I just listed, and we have to put concrete policies in place to show them that there is no answer, no hope, no solution in radicalism. Are we, Madam Speaker, going to sit and wait on the copycats of the Boston bombers or the Paris terror attacks? The Sarinave brothers and some of the other suspects of the Paris terror attacks were under the age of 25, Madam Speaker. 25! You know, we have a monkey see, monkey do mentality in Trinidad and Tobago. Ms. Monroe alluded to the high numbers of young men who left Trinidad to go to Syria to fight for ISIS. Young men in Trinidad and Tobago and even Western... Europe and North America are willingly making themselves candidates. Madam Speaker, with the increase in youth radicalization, we as a nation are now faced with the growing threat of homegrown terrorists. And we got a taste of this back in 1990. The opposition bench called on the government bench of the youth parliament to support the establishment of a counter-radicalism policy for TNT. Sherilyn Lewis, C News. And on the government bench, youth parliamentarian and Minister of Sport Josiah Herod rejected the opposition calls for a counter-radicalism youth policy, saying there are existing programs that can counter radicalism am among youths. There is currently a program called the YTC Youth Mentorship Program. Madam Speaker, what this program does, Madam Speaker, is take youths who were once deemed as radicals within society, takes them, gives them the proper training, and send them to communities, schools, sports clubs, and all over the country to deal with youths who may be deemed as radicals within society, Madam Speaker. These are youths who were once deemed as radicals. So what direct approach we need again to deal with this issue, Madam Speaker? How more direct again you can get than this, Madam Speaker? Mr. Herod said, as a matter of fact, just a few weeks ago, the YTC mentorship program was in South Trinidad. Just last week, um, the youth training center visited Superior West Secondary, but I'm sure the um, opposition leader is already aware of this because this is her constituency, and she's so concerned about the youth of Trinidad. Opposition leader, are you aware of this? 